Loudoun County prosecutors have dismissed charges against six people after the resignation of Asylum Springs police officer. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us. Tonight at 9, I'm Anna Darling. According to a Benton County prosecuting attorney, many other cases are in jeopardy of being dismissed as well. Fox 24's Christina Randall is in studio to explain how they are deciding which cases will be impacted. Christina. An Asylum Springs police officer, Michael Anderson, resigned in September from the police department. The Benton County Prosecuting Attorney's Office began investigating Anderson regarding his credibility with his cases last year. According to Benton County Prosecuting Attorney Joshua Robinson, it's a tough decision to dismiss cases. However, he says it's the right thing to do in this situation. The resignation of former Asylum Springs police officer Michael Anderson has caused a ripple effect for current cases in Benton County. We decided that we were going to be dismissing cases that he was involved in. We've already dismissed a handful of cases. Benton County prosecuting attorney Joshua Robinson says an investigation began last year into Anderson after his credibility came into question. Right now of kind of making sure that we can do our best to identify cases that this police officer was involved in. Um, and that, that can be difficult. He says the process will be time consuming. It takes some time because, you know, anytime you've got a case, we're going to have to go back and read police reports, watch um, officers, you know, dash cameras from their car, uh, read um, warrants and all kinds of things like that, get a, get a good sense of who was there, who did what. Robinson says dismissing cases is not an easy decision. However, he says he wants to maintain the trust between the community and law enforcement. The community needs to know that law enforcement is going to do the right thing and are going to be trustworthy. We're put in a position of having to dismiss those cases um, to make sure that there's not an injustice done to anybody that's been accused of a crime. Robinson says some of the cases being dismissed will cause people to not go through the rest of the criminal process. That's the hard reality of situations like this, and that's what makes it really hard. Um, but the system works better when um, we hold everybody to, to a high standard. Robinson says the decision on whether to prosecute or dismiss cases involving Anderson will be made on a case-by-case -case basis. We reached out to the Asylum Springs Police Department, but have not heard back. In studio, Christina Randall, Fox 24 News. Thank you.